Hey everyone! Welcome to Cake with Pamela Jane. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this amazing faux velvet technique that's actually edible. The things that you'll need for this is a spray bottle, your velvet flock, and a fondant covered cake. In the bottle, I use a 50-50 mixture of vodka and corn syrup. And the vodka is just to thin out the corn syrup and allow you to spray it onto the cake and then the vodka evaporates and you have a sticky glue for the velvet flock to adhere to. So I'm just going to take the spray bottle and give a light mist over the top and then the sides of the cake. And this part can kind of get messy and just be prepared for this to get everywhere. Now you want to take a paper towel and just dab the drips that are coming on the bottom and take your Velvet Flock by Cake with Pamela Jane. Open it up. You want to move the cake onto a piece of parchment paper to catch the excess and so that you can reuse the Velvet Flock on other pieces. So I'm just going to sprinkle this on top and it's fine to use your hands to spread it out. Now for the sides, you can use your hand or you can use a piece of acetate to scrape it up the sides. I find that a combination of both work really well so you can try it and see which one works best for you. And you can tell me in the comments what works best for you if you try this. All right, if I didn't mention it earlier, you don't want to spray your cake on the parchment paper because then all of this extra stuff will stick to the parchment and then you can't reuse it as well. So you want to spray it off of the parchment paper first and then move it onto the parchment paper. So now that we've got all of this covered, you can wipe off the excess or take your cake and carefully tap it so that the extra velvet flock falls off. And then you're left with some gorgeous velvet texture. And don't worry if there's some of the fondant showing through. It actually kind of gives more depth to the velvet and when you put the flock onto the cake, there's going to be some sections where it adheres a little better and thicker and somewhere it's just very thin and that actually adds to the realistic dimension of velvet so don't worry if you're not completely getting it saturated. So once you have your cake covered you want to gather up this parchment paper and carefully put the extra velvet flock back into the bag so you can use it. We're going to set that aside. Now I also wanted to show you how versatile this velvet flock is and the different ways that you can incorporate it into your designs. So I'm going to use a stencil on this tier. And this stencil here is from my friend Michelle Smith with Cake Craze. She makes beautiful stencils that are easily attached to the cake. They have slots so that you can put tape through and they hold on really well and she's got lots of different designs so you should check out her website and I'll post the link below in the description. For the stencil application we're going to use some royal icing to apply over the stencil and then we'll put the flock over the royal icing. So I will just take my sheet of acetate and put some of the royal icing on the acetate and 
Now I'm going to, I'm right handed, so I'm going to come towards me, starting in the middle of the stencil, and I'm gonna apply gentle pressure So now that we've got the extra royal icing wiped away, we want to apply the velvet flock. And we're going to just dump a little bit onto our sheet of acetate. So now you can also apply it with your hand if you feel more comfortable doing that. Um, just run it over the areas of the stencil that the royal icing is stuck to and smooth it on. You want to continue around the cake until the whole thing is covered with this velvet cloth. Okay, now for the fun part, we're going to take off the stencil and see what this looks like. You want to be careful when removing the stencil that it's not flinging away from the cake. But just carefully peel it away. And you should have a pretty detailed design with your velvet. Now you can see up here on the top we have a few places where the, the flock didn't stick as well so we can just go back and put that on with our fingers and that should cover it up nicely and you can also use a wet paintbrush to clean up any of those lines where there shouldn't have been royal icing. Okay, and now once we're done with that, we're gonna get our extra velvet flock and put it back in the bag to save it for another cake project. One of these bags is enough to do an entire three to five tier cake, depending on exact design that you choose. But there is quite a bit in here and it should last you a while. Okay, so now that we've got the different techniques of applying the velvet on, you can stack your cakes and put any flowers or other decorations on that you wish, and you're done. And it's super easy and so much fun. It gives such a different texture and look than what we're typically used to with just straight fondant. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I look forward to seeing what you create with it. And also, I have a more in-depth tutorial on my blog that's a picture tutorial, and it'll tell you exactly how to do what we covered today, as well as how to make the velvet flock yourself. I do have these for purchase, and I'll put the link below in the description. Um, but this will just save you time if you don't want to worry about making it or you don't have a coffee grinder or an airbrush, you can get these. So check that out. So thanks again for watching. I hope you tune in next time. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And I look forward to seeing you.